a lot of people who commented and said they just wanted to see Day in the Life. I can't even explain to you how crazy it is to have it finished. All right, so we took a brief detour and the mall opens at 10 and none of the stores open till 11. Spend a few hours on the reservoir Never broke a bone, so I'm gonna try hard To prove you wrong That I'm not who I used to be I'm not living at 17 Let's go! like a primrose you're never taking me alive so come close and i know why you said it cause i'm reading every word in your voice everyone my name is Katie and I am a third grade teacher in the state of Florida and I'm so glad you're here for a day in my life summer edition so I just spent like the beginning of my morning getting ready for the day getting dressed I just ate breakfast I fixed my hair made the bed, did all of those things. And I thought I would take you guys along with me because on my Instagram a few weeks ago, I put out like a question box and I was like, what kind of content do you guys wanna see over the summer? And there was a lot of people who commented and left a suggestion and said they just wanted to see day in the life. And so I thought today would be a great day in the life to take you guys along because I'm actually doing things. Um, <laughs> David and I were actually out of town this past weekend we just got back yesterday. We drove 13 hours in the car. So it feels very good to be home and not stuck in a car. But I have some errands that I need to run because we're going out of town later this week for his big work convention. And so I have some errands I need to do before that. Um, some of them include, I have a bag of clothes over here that I need to take to donation, just old jean shorts that don't fit and old t-shirts I don't wear anymore. Um, I need to go by the school because I've got to get my hot glue gun because I'm making things for a friend's baby shower in a couple weeks and I need my hot glue gun and I couldn't get it last week because they were waxing the tile and I need to go, most importantly, I need to go find a dress because at their convention they have like an awards banquet every year and I don't have a dress to wear to it this year. Last year I wore an old bridesmaids dress that I had worn to a friend's wedding and it was so pretty and so cute. Um, but I don't have anything to wear this year. So David was like, go get something, enjoy, shop around. But unfortunately, like that means I have to go to the mall, which isn't bad. I just haven't been to a mall in forever, but I think that's going to be like the most bang for my buck. Cause we don't have like a whole lot of places you can go. I'm not looking for like a prom formal gown, right? My, um, bridesmaid dress was pretty simple. It was just like one color. It was like a sage green last year. Um, so I'm not looking for something super fancy, but I do want it to be like a nice like cocktail dress and we don't have a lot of places around that have those. So I'm going to go to the mall because there's a couple stores in there that might have things or like the bigger stores like JCPenney and Dillard's. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I've got to get my stuff packed up and together. Oh, and I have to take this to school. I made my, uh, media specialist one of these. Like I made my t-shirt, I shared it in a couple of vlogs, a couple of vlogs ago, the In My Teaching Era decal. So I'm glad I remembered that because um, I want to put that in her box up in the office. So that's kind of like the gist of what we're doing today. It'll be a good day. We have Bible study at the house tonight at seven. And um, so I'm going to be back like, hopefully I'm hoping to be back and like kind of wrapping up my day at like three o'clock ish. So I can kind of wind down, plan out dinner and do those things and get the house ready for Bible study. So I don't know how long this vlog is going to be, but I just thought I'll take you guys along with me because I'm doing a little bit of shopping and errand running. Welcome to summer. I did straighten my hair. Um, I've been trying to give it like a little bit of a break and putting it up in a clip this summer. And I did not use conditioner last night and that was not a good plan. It just, my hair was like 
so greasy yesterday from being in the car and from travel. And so I was like, yeah, I don't need to use conditioner, but I probably should have um, because it was kind of dry this morning. But I decided to straighten it because I always feel better shopping when I look better, but I'm not putting makeup on. Like summer for me is no makeup unless I absolutely have to. Like I'm going to an event, I'm going to a dinner, I'm going to church, I'll put makeup on. Other than that, I don't wear it. So I'm not putting makeup on. So I was like, I have to fix my hair because I just feel better when I shop for things, when I look better, if that makes sense. So without further ado, I think I'm going to get some things, head into the car. I'm probably going to go pick up a coffee from a local coffee shop. I've got gift cards for my sweet, sweet students from the end of the year. Um, and so I think I'm going to use one and go get myself a little iced latte. I have been drinking my water, trying to catch up. I didn't drink that much water yesterday because we were on the road for so long. And like the more water you drink, the more stops you have to make. And so I did drink water. Like I probably had three bottles yesterday, but that's not nearly as much as I usually do. So I'm trying to like catch up on my intake today. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm doing laundry all day today. Oh, I know what I can do. I can update you on the bathroom at the house before I leave. So I'm going to update you on our bathroom and then I will get all my stuff and go get my coffee and go shopping for this dress and drop off these donation things. And then I think after I get my dress, I'll swing by the school. This is welcome to a day in my life. I'm literally using you to help plan my day right now. <laughs> Anyways, bathroom update. So this is very exciting. Let me take you along with me. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that we bought this house about a year ago and we've been doing lots of renovation and in quite a few of my past vlogs, I've given you updates on the bathroom. Well, let me pop in a before picture just to remind you what it looked like. Here's like the very, very before when we bought the house, what it looked like, had that old paneling on the wall that actually wasn't supposed to be in rooms with high moisture. And so we figured out that's what was making the room smell weird. The tub had, um, what's it called? Mold under the grout. So we'd take the whole tub out. And then when we took the paneling off, I'll show you a picture of what that looked like. It was like a sticky mess. Well, not sticky, but it was like all the glue, the glue adhesive, which is why I said sticky. It was like a mess on the walls. So we had to take all the drywall down. David and some buddies removed that big light um, overhead box, like fluorescent. And then David did all the drywall and all the mudding on his own. And we finally painted it and got it all together. I think it was like a week and a half ago. And I'm so excited. So without further ado, I hope those pictures were helpful. Without further ado, let me take you into the bathroom so you can see what it looks like now. Okay, so when you walk down the hall, here's our hall bathroom. Let me turn the light on in the hall. Here's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Like, in love. I gotta reach the light switch. Where is the light switch? Oh, I missed it. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Here's the wall right here that was like covered in, I mean, everything was covered in paneling, but he did all of that drywall. He did all of the mudding up and around the shower. Like if I can show you up here, all of these corners David did, he did all of the caulking and things like right here on the edge. He had to buy like the metal to go on the corners and the metal to frame out this before he did the drywall. Like, oh my goodness, I love, this is our shower curtain rod. And our shower curtain we thought was kind of funny because it's similar to the color that the drywall was when it was exposed. So we were like, it's an ode to the to the drywall. And then here is my little sign that I used to have in our old apartments and I had never been able to hang here at the house. And we finally hung it with the towel bar underneath. These are just from Lowe's. I think they're Allen Roth brand. And we have a little one, a big one, and then the toilet paper holder that matches. And then here's the vanity. This vanity was already there. Um, it just looks way nicer now. <laughs> I still need the dust over there. It looks way nicer now with the room complete. The mirror was also already there. So the only thing we changed on this wall was the light fixture. And obviously, like, let me click so you can zoom out. There we go. So you can see how much nicer it looks without that drop down. It had like the drop down with the fluorescence and now it has the light fixture there. So it looks like a thousand times better with that instead of the big box, which we still have the big box in our bathroom. So now we're kind of like, that would be cool to take down one day, but not right now because we'd have to do so much drywall and then repainting and all those things. So I'll give you one more view now that I've got this um, wide lens. There is our bathroom. It is so nice. So nice. I can't even explain to you how crazy it is to have it finished as I'm standing here like vlogging in the bathroom. Who knew that I would ever like vlog in this bathroom, but it's done. Oh my gosh. So 
hard work, dedication, a whole year of it from David. And then I helped. I like assisted with some things, but plumbing, we've had tile fixed, tub fixed. It just feels so much nicer than it did when we moved in. And now our house feels like not done, but this was like a big, big project, big project, this hall bath. And to have a bathroom that's like finished, like there's nothing we have to do in here is fantastic. So we're still waiting on the glass door for our shower. Let me show you like our bathroom. All right, coming back into my bedroom, here's what our bathroom looks like. Please pardon the mess on the counter, <laughs> but I'm sure you've seen this part of my bathroom in my vlogs before where I get ready. Um, so this was all here. It's what it looked like when we moved in, except the walls were like a dark brown color. And so we painted them alabaster white, just like the rest of the house. Um, and that was like a red and I painted it white too. So this is what it looks like. Here's the fluorescent box. If I back up a little bit, you can see how it's like a drop down with just the fluorescent lights inside. And if you look close, you can see, well, I guess not unless I poke it. Can I poke it? I don't wanna mess it up. You can see right there that color. That's like a brown, like a cardboardy brown, but that's closer to what the walls looked like in here. Um, so here's a towel rod that matches. And then here's our bathroom, bathroom part. And so we have not used this shower yet still because we're waiting for the custom glass door to go in. It should come in anytime in the next month, which is really exciting. Um, but then here was what the shower looks like. I can't remember when I did the last update in the vlog. I got these from... Um, Amazon. I still need to fill them. I haven't filled them since we aren't using the shower yet and I love them so much. And then I got this soap dish because David uses a bar of soap and I didn't want it to sit up on our nice ledge handle and all of that stuff. So that's what our master's looking like. Again, hard to explain what it feels like to have a bathroom, like two bathrooms basically finished. We haven't showered in there because we have to do a couple of touch-ups on the grout with um, like a filler because it's new grout, but once it's like settled, you can see where it pulls and stuff. So we have to do a couple touch-ups in there and we're waiting for the glass door. We're like, at this point, we've waited so long to shower in there. We can just wait for the glass door. And once it gets installed, we'll be good to go to shower in there. And again, it should come in any month, which I'm so excited. Um, they're gonna come and install it for us. It's really but we demoed these bathrooms before we even moved into the house last year in like April, I think David's parents came and we demoed them both. So pro tip, if you're doing home renovations, don't demo both your bathrooms at the same time because then you don't have bathrooms. So that was kind of fun. Um, but I mean, David and I felt really great about the status of the house. Okay, so house updates done. I'm gonna finish drinking my water or keep working on it and then refill it to take it with me. I've got some gift cards. I have a Visa gift card that I got from a student for Christmas that I haven't used that I'm gonna use for part of my dress. I've got a coffee gift card from my local coffee shop. I'm gonna get shoes on, get my belt bag, and then I will be ready to go. got my coffee super excited about it I got the iced brown sugar caramel latte which I get a lot when I go to this coffee place I go between this and then um like their cold brew with vanilla sweet cream so that's what I usually get um this camera angle is not the best but my phone does not sit up on my dash anymore because of my phone case it doesn't have the rubbery and so I have to like sit it and it, so it won't slide anyways that has nothing to do with anything I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee, enjoy it for a second. It's always so good. And I cleaned out my cup holders, thank goodness, because I had like let old grocery lists and receipts and straw wrappers pile up in my cup holders. Now you can see the wonderful little, I have these little things at the bottom. I don't know if they do anything. The little, um, yeah, there's a hair on it, that's nasty. The little, they're supposed to like help with 
absorbing the water or whatever, the little tiles. It's like two auburn ones in there. So now you can see those down at the bottom. I kind of need to vacuum and like clean out my car. I do a good job at keeping my car pretty clean, but I need to vacuum it. So now what I'm doing, I took my donations. I got a coffee. I'm going to sip on this coffee as I drive down to the mall. The mall is not very close to my house. It's closer to David's job. Um, so I haven't been to the mall in forever either. I think I went the first summer that we lived here in Florida because I was on a hunt for a Harry Potter shirt before we went to Universal for the first time. Now we've been to Universal like 20,000 times. Um, but I went to like every store looking for this Harry Potter shirt. And um, I think that was the last time I went. Mm, David and I went once our first year living here to go to Bath and Body Works one time too. And so other than that, I haven't been to the mall. So it'll be interesting. I'm just going to walk in. I have like one store in mind that I know I want to go to because I know they have pretty dresses. And if they have one that like tickles my fancy, I'll try it. And then other than that, I'll just be walking around trying to find any store that might have a dress that I can wear. I was about to buckle, but I'm already buckled. So without further ado, let's hit the road and go dress shopping. <laughs> So we took a brief detour because I got here to the mall and I went inside and realized I looked up online and the mall opens at 10 a.m. And then I walked inside and none of the stores open till 11. So I don't know why, that's just how it was. So I went over across the street to go to Five Below because I had been seeing some people on Instagram post that they have like these cute disco balls for like $5 and I was kind of debating putting them up above my table groups maybe with the pet like the puff balls that I have or instead of the puff balls or something but they didn't have them so I like browsed all around five below I haven't walked in Michaels just a little bit because I was just stalling time it was like 10 20 when I got to the mall and the stores didn't open till 11 so now I'm out here it's 10 52 I'm still sipping on my coffee I figured I'd get um some of this finished before I go in. But pro tip, when I go to the mall, I always park by a department store so I don't forget where I parked because those are always gonna be on the map and it's easy to find because it's like one end of the mall or the other. So I'm parked over at the Dillard's at the mall. When I was younger and I would go to the mall with my best friend Morgan, we always parked at Nordstrom Shoes. That was just where we parked in the mall. And it was like our spot. So when we would go to the mall, um, cause I grew up in Texas and so the mall was pretty big we would always remember, we would never have that like, wait, where did we park? What store did we park in front of? No, like I always parked at Nordstrom Shoes. Even if I had to go all the way to the other side, you just get to enjoy everything, get a good walk. Nordstrom Shoes is very parked. So today I'm parked at Dillard's. I don't even know if this mall has a Nordstrom's. Otherwise I would go find it and I'd park there. I don't think it has one though. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I was kind of bummed about the disco balls, but I think David will be glad that I didn't find them. I didn't really see anything that I needed in Five Below. So, I'm just hanging out. Then I gotta go in and try on dresses. I'm like excited because there's part of me that likes shopping and then I'm also kind of dreading it because there's part of me that doesn't like shopping and like, what if I don't find something and you have to take things into the dressing room? But I'm a try it on girly. I don't like order clothes from Amazon very often at all because I like to try stuff on, but still, I'm just kind of like a little nervous because I really need to find something before we leave in like two days. So. I think that's why I'm nervous. Okay, so I put my sunroof closed, but now I need to put up my little sunshade things. I'm gonna leave my coffee in the car because I don't really wanna carry it around to all these stores. And this will help keep it nice and cool still, hopefully. Let's see if I can do this without knocking the camera over. Okay. Oh, shoot, it's upside down. Oh, too bad to when you live in florida this thing is very necessary but the one i have is also very obnoxious it's like custom size to exactly fit my car i had an old one that was like not and it always fell down there we go but this one is like just the size of my windshield 
So it's like a perfect fit. All right, now it's really dark. So I'm gonna go in, try on some dresses. Wish, wish me luck. Hey guys, I'm in the car. I don't think I can set the camera down because of my AC rattling and the, my car rattling and so it's bumpy, but that was so fun. So the first store I went to was Windsor. I ended up getting the one with all the sequins on it, chef's kiss, and I had a Visa gift card from a student to help pay for it. Um, so I could pick that one even though it's like a little bit more than the plain green one that I also loved. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And it was so much fun trying this on. I haven't tried on dresses like that since I went wedding dress shopping, which was over four years ago. And I got it at Windsor. I think I already said that, but that's where I got my prom dress in 2012. There's a picture of my prom dress. Um, so I told the lady that I was like, I bought a dress here in 2012 for prom. And so today was so fun to get to try on those dresses. And they weren't too expensive. Now the one with the sequins was a little bit more because of the sequins, but like the plain green one and the plain like maroon one were only like $44 for those nice dresses. And those felt like there were some in there that felt kind of cheapy. Those did not. And they fit well too. So that was really fun. Then I went to Forever 21, tried on a few dresses because we have a dinner that we're going to on that event as well. That's not the banquet. And I got myself something because, well, all of these things are for myself, but I got this cute purse because is it Forever 21 and I could not resist. So I'm just gonna tell David like, I'm so sorry, but I don't go shopping often and like spoil myself often. So today I spoiled myself with that dress, but David loved that dress. He was like, get it, you need it. And um, the other one that I got for the dinner, I can totally wear to school with a denim jacket over it and it's fun and very colorful. And so I'm excited for that. So now I'm going to meet David for lunch at Witch Witch, I think. I'm not like super hungry, but I might just get a small sandwich or something and chill with him. And then I'm gonna go to school and continue running my errands. From far away she looks so good Grew up in the same neighborhood And that's out of rough salt in the wound Spend a few hours on the road Okay, I'm home. I just brought all that stuff in and plopped it on the bed. I got the glue guns. I got the clear acrylic frames that you saw earlier um, that I think I'm gonna use for some signs at the baby shower. And then I got some bags of chocolate covered pretzels that I had left in one of my drawers. And the last time I was there was last week for a training and they were waxing my tiles. So I couldn't get to them, but I had so many bags of chocolate covered pretzels from Teacher Appreciation Week and I wanted to bring some so I can take them. Oh, there's a squirrel outside. So I could take them on my trips coming up and snack on them. So I got those things. I just changed shirts because I needed to wash something that I was wearing in this next load of laundry that I'm doing. So. I'm about to switch the laundry that I started this morning, start the second load, and hopefully by the end of the day today, all of that will be folded. I think I'll also hang up uh, the dress I got from Forever 21 and then get to work on those cake toppers, uh, cupcake toppers for the baby shower. So that's what we're doing. On the reservoir, never broke a bone, so I'm gonna try hard to prove you wrong. That I'm not who I used to be I'm a living at 17 Let's go! Feet away, she's like a primrose. You're never taking me.